Hi and welcome to this week's web design video blog. Today's tutorial is on Photoshop's Select Color Range feature. Select Color Range is a really helpful tool that allows the designer to select areas of color using the eyedropper. This can be really helpful when trying to remove backgrounds from images, creating masks, or adjusting the hue of particular colors within an image. So if you're used to reaching for the magic wand tool for selecting areas of an image, take a look at this. Okay, so I've got an image here of a, uh, of a business chap sat in a field on his laptop. Now for a design that I'm working on, I want to remove this sort of blue sky area from the image so that I can overlay uh, the, the chap with the, and the grass onto a design and a background that I've already got prepared. Now like mentioned, I could use the magic wand tool to perhaps select and cut away the, uh, the sky. However, if we zoom in, we'll notice that uh, it's going to have a bit of a hard time differentiating the sky from the clouds. Now I could sort of sit and play around with the uh, with the tolerance of the magic wand, but um, obviously I'm going to have to sort of sit and keep adjusting this, and it could take me anywhere from sort of five minutes to uh, you know probably half an hour to actually correctly select the sky and leaving the grass in place. So this is where the uh, select color range feature really comes uh, comes into play, and if I just uh, close that marquee, and if I go to select color range you see that we now get the eyedropper tool and we can actually select a colour from the image for the colour range that we wish to uh, wish to select. So if I perhaps select an area from this uh, from here where the sort of sky meets the grass you'll see that using the, uh, the sort of little reference here the white area indicates the area that's going to be selected in the image. Now we can also increase the fuzziness which uh, a bit like the magic wand it's similar to the magic wand's tolerance we can sort of select a little bit more of that colour range and we can essentially there select the entire sky area. So if I push OK, you'll see that it's done a much better job of selecting uh, our sky area. And uh, if we were to, for example, cut that away and uh, and zoom in, you'll see that it's done quite a good job of uh, sort of separating the sky, leaving the grass in place in all the little areas that the magic wand would require individual clicks to uh, to access. So um, really good for uh, selecting areas of colour rather than the magic wand, and that's the Select Colour Range tool. Thank you for watching this week's web design video. If you have any questions, comments or contributions, please leave them on our sporting blog post.